Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a this MacBook here that cost $40 and it still works great today in 2024. I um can't even type my own password. That's very nice. All right. So if we go to the about this Mac, you can see I really haven't upgraded it. There is three gigs of um, RAM in it. I threw an extra gig in there probably by accident. But it still has the original hard drive and stuff. But what I, I have done is I've... Now, if you're wondering why it looks like modern Mac OS, it's because I changed all the icons. Now, for web browsers, you're very, very limited. Um, the default Safari is very bad, but there's this thing called Chromium Legacy. It does like to freak out when you first turn it on, but when it loads, it works great. Um, you can even... And if you do want to watch YouTube, I recommend using an N NVIDIAS instance. I just pressed on a random one. Just The thing that's really amazing about these MacBooks is the keyboard. Oh, it's incredible. It's got an amazing keyboard. It feels very nice. The plastic feels pretty nice, too. This is um, polycarbonate. And the entire build quality of the laptop, the crack is my fault, too. This thing was in, like, perfect condition when I got it. But like I said, I actually used this thing for a really long time. Now, you can actually still get definitely not as good as an Apple original one. But, I mean, it holds its own. Less about, like, three. I must say, if you're looking at old laptops for whatever reason, old MacBooks, they hold up very well performance-wise. And the build quality is such is just so good. Like, I still use my 2012 as my main one. I actually upgraded from this one. And for $40, this is still a pretty good laptop. And all laptops I've seen, especially plastic ones, the hinge breaks, the build quality feels terrible. Now, a major benefit of using one of these old Macs is you can get Mac OS uh, 10.6, which means you get power PC apps. And I've even seen people getting 10.4 to run. So they could have Mac OS. That means this is also, ironically, probably one of the best Macs to game on. There's also web browsers for this, but they're not as great as the ones on 10.8. Like, Chromium Legacy, it can look... Hey, like I said, um, like I was talking about, especially if you can find one cheap enough, it might not even be bad for playing some older games. Like, Halo runs great, looks pretty good, and it fills the entire screen. Now, unsurprisingly, Qu Quake um, 3 runs great. Another old classic that you can play on this laptop. I'm sure you are asking, can it run Minecraft? The answer is 100% yes, it can. This is Minecraft um, 1.11.2, and it's um, specifically compiled for PowerPC um, Max and works on up to 10.6. And I've actually put some time into it. As you can see, it runs very well, staying at around... I see so many people saying, don't get this MacBook, don't get this, it's too old. But I mean, you don't really need anything, any major, you know, like this laptop from 2008 that I got for $40. Like I say people on the, I see people on the internet saying you can't even use a 2015 MacBook Pro anymore. I use a 2012 and it still works really, really well. You could even get away with this right here, which is why I made this video. And this right here, $60. I no idea who this person is. No idea if this is good or not. I just clicked on a random one. But this is the newer model. So this would even be even better than this. So my, I think the best budget MacBook is the 2015 MacBook Pro. Because the... Another thing I haven't mentioned is that all trackpads on Macs I've ever used are really, really nice. Like, even if you want to play, like, Minecraft or something, a, a, um, a Apple trackpad, even on the modern... And, you know, it has, like, two-finger gestures, scroll...